It's Workout Wednesday. Hi. It's also the first day of summer, the longest day of the year. One of my favorite days. So we're going to do some yoga today. We're talking about balance and supporting the body this week. So we're going to do some balance and supporting the body. Just a nice, easy warm-up. It should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, put some nice music on if you'd like. I'm just going to keep the music off so you can hear me today. So I'm going to step back. We're going to start with our body in mountain pose. Feet are hip width apart, palms turned forward, shoulders open up. They're relaxed away from the ears. We're going to take some good deep breaths. I encourage you to close your eyes. We're going to start breathing in and up through the nose, building up some heat in the body. When you're standing here, you want to think of a couple things. Your shoulders should be over your ears, should be over your hips, should be over your heels. The knees are nice and soft. They're not locked. When you lock them, push your butt back. Get a lot of pressure in the low back. So you want to soften the knees. Let the hips just hang underneath you like a swing on two ropes. We're going to concentrate on our breath. One hand on the belly, one hand on the chest if you'd like. Take some good deep breaths. Really move that breath, and now the body use the diaphragm for breathing. Mm -hmm. Not close to your belly. Checking in with the body, getting ourselves in the right mindset. You can get the kinks out of the head, the neck if you want to. Roll the head around. Pull your shoulders a little bit. When you're ready, let's start doing some movements with our breath. We'll take a big inhale up. Palms pressed together. We'll exhale, drop those hands over heart center. What we're doing here is we're warming up the body. We're gathering up some good energy. We're bringing it down and down. Moving with the breath. Next time those arms reach up, we're going to hold them up, plant those feet into the mat, and then I want you to lean to one side, stretch and lean, stretch and lean. Reach that energy all the way up through your arm, all the way up to the fingertips. It's a good stretch down the side. We're going to take it to a standing back bend. We're going to grab the hand, look up and hand, squeeze the arms, arch the back, and standing back bend. We're going to be swan dive, dropping the belly, chest, arms, and head, again, hanging forward, full, shake things out the head, shaking out the legs if you need to, just kind of get some kinks out of there again. Nice, good, deep breaths, so then gravity helps decompress that back, stretch out the vertebrae, stretch out the hamstring. Hands are going to be on the floor. You can bend your knees if you need to to get the hands down there. We'll step one foot back, then the other to downward facing dog. Nice upside down feet. Spread the fingers and palms out. Press the heels into the mat. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Your, hip, your heels are hip width apart. Start to work the down dog, alternating heel presses. Work the feet, the ankles, the calves. Both heels pressing back into the mat, hip up and back again, chest to the thighs. Nice, good deep breaths in and out through the nose. Bring all that tension go from the neck and shoulders. Touching out the hamstrings to the calves, the chest, the back, and upon the balls of the feet, we'll carefully drop to our knees, step back and extend the child pose with the head rest between the shoulders. Again, nice, good, deep breath. You can separate your knees to make more room for that breath move in your belly if you like, or you can bring them together, whatever is more comfortable. Nice, good, deep breath. This is a great setup for downward facing dog. You want your hands to be this far out, elbows extended, you want your toes to be your tuck toes under. Lift those thumbs up, press the heels back into the mat for our downward facing dog. We're going to warm some things up here. Bring that right leg up to the ceiling as high as you can. Press your left heel into the mat. On the exhale, you're going to bring the knee in, around the back, tuck in the chin. Inhale, extend the leg up. Do it. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. 
And next time we bring that right knee in, we're going to bring it all the way up. Now you might need to help it up with your hands. You're going to try to bring that hand with that foot between the two hands. So drop the back knee behind your hip. That way you don't have direct pressure on your knee. It's not bothering your knee so much. And we're going to open up the hip flexor on this side. Okay, shoulders over the hip, arms reach overhead. We're going to lean into this and then back up. Lean and back up. Shoulders are relaxed. They tend to come up here towards our ears. So we'll keep them relaxed. We're opening up our hip flexors. If you sit a lot at work during the day, this is going to be real tight. And stretch there. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. I have some beauty thing happening in the front here. Stretch it out. Hold the stretch. We're going to drop those arms down, shoulder heads. And I want you to twist towards your front leg. So I'm going to twist back towards my right leg. Open up this hip flexor. And then drop the right arm down. Turn the second right arm, right leg. You're going to drop it down. Left arm up and you're leading to the side. Again, all about opening up the hip flexor on your left side. Hold the stretch. Grab those hands behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the arms up, and expand that chest. Now, if this is bothering your knee, you can always lift your leg up and do this whole thing standing. Okay? Open up that chest. When you're ready, hands fall to either side of this front foot. You're going to shift your weight back. Straighten this front leg as best you can. Flex the foot. You're going to get a nice hamstring stretch. Nice low back stretch again if it bothers your knee. You can be doing something like this. Relax the neck and shoulders. Sometimes I like to take my opposite hand to the opposite leg. So my right leg's in front, my left hand to my right leg. It just squares the hip. Pulls a little bit more on the hamstrings. Again, if you sit a lot during the day, these hamstrings are going to be tight. The hip flexors are going to be real tight. One hand at either side of the foot. Let's flatten this foot, tuck the toes under the back, and lift up the back knee. Nice runner's lunge. Still taking good deep belly breaths. We're going to straighten out this front knee as best you can. It might not get all the way straight. That's okay. It might be a little bent. You can straighten it, straighten it. Hands on the floor. If you can't put your hands on the floor, put them up on something. Relax the neck and shoulders. Stretch out the hamstring on this right leg. We're going to go back and forth. So runner's lunge, open up the hip flexor on the left. Pyramid, stretch that hamstring on the right. Back and forth. Exhale and inhale. We're going to hold it up in this pyramid stretch here. Relax the neck and shoulders. Get a good stretch in the hamstring. Let gravity pull the vertebrae apart. Let that head be pulled to the floor. When you're ready, we're going to walk our hands around to the center. Turn your feet, everything. Just let everything relax here in the center. Relax the head again, that shoulder. Tilt the tailbones up to the ceiling. Nice, good, deep breath. Again, your hands can't make it to the floor. You can put them up on something. I want you to shift your weight side to side, then in one knee, then the other. When you do the shift, I want you to make sure you're shifting back so your weight is on your heel. Your knees over the ankle. Opening up our inner thighs some more, stretching the buns. Again, stretching the abs. We'll come back, both legs straight, let everything hang in a wide forward fold. We're going to walk ourselves over to the other side now. So turn the body. We're going to do everything kind of in reverse over here. So we'll go back down. Let's open up our hip flexors. So we're going to actually, let's take that leg up, change our mind. We're going to bring this left leg back to the right. So we're going to come back to downward facing dog. We started there on the other side. Fingers and palms spread out. Heel comes to the mat, hips up and back, chest to the thighs. Nice, good, deep breath. This time we're going to use the opposite leg, so your left leg is going to reach out to the ceiling. You press the heel down to the floor on the right side, press your chest back to the thigh. Exhale, bring the, the knee in, round up the back, tuck in the chin. 
Inhale, extend it up. Exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, extend. Moving with that breath, spreading the fingers and palms out. Next time we bring that left knee in, we're going to bring the foot all the way up to the hand. Help it up with your arm if you need to. Drop that back knee behind you. This side fits this time. It's your right leg. Shoulders come over the hips. You're opening up the hip flexor. Arms overhead. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from the ears. I want you to lean in your back and back off a little. Lean in and back off. We're opening up our hip flexors on this right side. Breathing in and out through the nose. Nice big belly breath. Hold the stretch. Bring your arms down, shoulder height, twist, twist towards that left leg, your front leg. And then drop your left arm down to the side, left arm, left leg, right arm up, lean to the side and center. Okay. We're taking some good deep breaths. Hold the stretch. Grab those hands behind, then open and expand that chest. Open up the chest. Lean into that lunge. Breathe. And we'll take those hands, one on either side of the left foot, transfer our weight back, straighten the left leg, flex the foot. Relax the neck and shoulders and the neck straight stretch. Taking some good deep breaths in and out through the nose. Put flat on the floor. We'll tuck our toes in on the right leg. Lift up that knee. Your nice runner's lunge. Opening up the hip flexor down in front of the right thigh. Opening up. We're going to go from our runner's lunge into our pyramid pose. Straighten this left knee. Relax the neck and shoulders. Let everything go from that neck and chin. This leg may be straight, may not. It might be a little kind of like this. Wherever you can go. Again, you can put your hands on a block, step, something like that. So we're going to do it from pyramid to runner's lunge. Exhale. Inhale the pyramid. Exhale the runner's lunge. Good. Inhale the pyramid. Just back and forth. Next time we go to runner's lunge or pyramid, we're going to hold it there. Get everything relaxed. Walk back around to the front, let everything hang in that wide forward fold. Bring those hands. Shoulder width apart, bring the feet back, hip width apart, so we're backing downward facing dog. We'll turn to the side again. We're back in that down dog stretch. Opening up the shoulders, the back, the chest, thighs, hamstrings down, all that. Up on the balls of feet, drop your knees, sit back and extend your child's pose, and then head rest between your shoulders. We'll bring the shoulders over the wrist in a cobra shape. Open up the abdominals and the chest. Pull the shoulders down and back. Breathe. Coming back on the hands and knees, we reposition the wrists under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. We'll do a little cow, swaying the back as we inhale. Exhale, we'll do a scared cat. Tuck the chin, throw them under, push that back. Back and forth, inhale and cow. Exhale and cat. Inhale and cow. Exhale and cow. And we'll sit back and extend the child's pose. Let those arms reach out with the head rest between the shoulders. And that's where we're going to finish for today. That's Workout Wednesday, Balance and Support, week number two. So thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you have a great first day of summer. The longest day of the year.
get outside. Spend some time in the sun. Stay out till the sun goes down. That's what I plan on doing. Have a great day. Bye.